Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So I've got Bill's 1025R over here and he's got his four foot bush hog hooked up, but he called me the other day and said he couldn't make this bush hog level. And so I went over and played with it a little bit and I agree with him, I couldn't make it level either. But then I got kind of looking at it and what I saw right off the bat was he's missing a part here so the turnbuckle that keeps it from swaying. But then as I was watching him drive from the back, I noticed that the two three-point hitch lift arms weren't the same height. So this one looked good, but this one was way up here. So I got looking down in there, and if you can see it, that three-point lift arm has come off of the pin that it's supposed to be on. So let me start this up and show you what it's doing. So if I pull that all the way up, it lifts up the right side and the top, but the left side doesn't go up. So I'm going to take this bush hog off and we'll pull this in the garage and get that fixed. It shouldn't be a long fix, but... It's pretty cold out here, so I'm going to do it inside where it's a little warmer. So the first thing we'll do is take off our quick hitch. And then lower the bush hog back to the ground. So while we're here, let's go ahead and pull this PTO shaft off. Okay, maybe that's a better view of it, I hope. But this arm is supposed to be on that shaft, and it's not. And I almost think this PTO shaft guard would keep this from coming off there if it was down in the guard position. But... It's been up like that all winter. And there's been nothing on the back of this other than this quick hitch. And he's been going around picking up sticks and also picking up firewood. And I think what happened was probably first he lost this pin, which allowed the turnbuckle to swing free. And then with it swinging free, it just vibrates as he was using it and fell off. So it's probably over in his front yard someplace. But then this pin also had to have fallen off. And then just as this hitch swings and stuff, it eventually popped off of that shaft. So I don't think it's going to take much to put this on. And actually, I think I'll just do it out here because I really think it's going to be a very quick fix. I hope anyway. But man, it's, uh, it's like 30 degrees out here today, which we're not used to. It's been pretty warm the last couple weeks. Okay, I'm going to take my off-road jack and make this quick hitch level as a first step. So let me lower that hitch down. Put that up. Okay, and as I jack that up, it's dropping that right into position. So now I should be able to just pull this back get that guard more out of the way there we go turn the little ball if I can slide this back just right here almost there it's there all right Hope you could see that. So I've got the arm back on. Now I need a pin in that. And I'll tell you what, look at the angle of that pin. It's straight horizontal. I kind of like it when these pins go more up and down. 
kind of let gravity be your friend. But the pin on the other side is the exact same way and it hasn't had a problem. So I guess I'll just go ahead and put a new pin back in that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this pin in. Like I said, I would like that to be turned a little bit. That's even that shaft thing has got a flat spot on it. I don't know if I could turn that pin or not. And on the other side of it, this pin, which is probably a lot more likely to fall out, is straight up and down. And even with that being straight up and down, this is the pin he lost. So originally, I'm sure this was the first one that got lost. So I guess I'll just leave that like that. The other thing is this guard, which is the just the guard for the PTO shaft. You can fold it up like this to be able to uh, hook your PTO up and everything. And all winter long, that shaft guard was up. And he didn't have anything on his hitch. So it sat there and just rocked all winter. And again, like I said, this has got to be what happened was this pin fell out, letting his turnbuckle swing loose. And then that, uh, eventually, this pin fell out, which allowed his arm to come off. But if this is down here, even if that pin fell out, I don't think this arm, I mean, there's not... There's barely a finger width between that guard and that pin. And that lift arm is a lot wider than my finger. So I think this, this is kind of the safety for that to keep from happening, even if you lost your pin a little bit. Oh, well, we're getting it fixed now. And it took about 10 minutes. Okay, and to get this back in service, we didn't get away without buying some parts. So this is the turnbuckle assembly. And it's part number LVA. 16683 and at our local dealer Hudson's it was $52. So let's get this put on. So also this part has this kind of a keychain keeper thing which should keep these together from being able to fall all the way apart. So we'll definitely reuse that as well. Okay, so we'll unwind our little coat hanger <laughs> key key thing. And then take this piece, which we managed to keep, we'll take it off. I guess that's the way to do it. <laughs> okay, so we don't need this, we still have it. So this is goes in our spare parts. I got you in the shot. Okay, let's go a little bit more. I just want to make it kind of equidistant. So, that looks like about the same amount to me sticking out. Maybe just a hair longer. Okay, now I'll put this keychain thing back in so that hopefully maybe it doesn't pop out of it again or if it does we'll still have it there we go so got that through okay so now we've got our keeper back in there and i don't have any idea if that maybe fell out was a, as a problem so then it's just a matter of putting our helio back up on there Okay, so now let me put my keeper in. So here's a little pin that keeps all this together. And like I said, I don't know. There might be a better way to do that, but I don't know how it is. So we've got just a couple inches of movement now in our hitch. And that's really all we want. We want that to stay pretty dang tight. Let me look and see if this keeper is even in that other side because this is the first step to letting all this stuff fall out is if this disappears. Because if that was still in there, we would still have this part. Okay, so check this out on the other side. Here's our little key ring keeper, but it's not through that hole. So if this ever fell off and wasn't noticed, the same thing could happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, this isn't part of the job, but to help him out, I'll go ahead and thread that back through also. 
There it goes. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew you couldn't defeat me forever. <laughs> okay, so that's back in there the way it's supposed to be, the way it was designed. I know why that came out is to adjust this. It kind of locks it in, which is the purpose of it. So we've got our hitch where we want it. Let's put that back on. Yeah, so it moves. It moves maybe two inches, I'm gonna say, just as a guess. And that'll be enough. So let's put our keeper back in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our quick hitch, put our three-point hitch bush hog back on, and he'll be ready to mow this summer. So what I saw, too, just to reiterate, if you've got nothing on the back of your tractor, leave this guard down over this PTO shaft. Uh, if you leave it pulled up, either one of these lift arms can pop off its little pin if it ever lost that little keeper, which obviously can happen. Okay, and that quick hitch really is pretty slick. I kind of wish I had one. I do not. But I don't switch rear implements as often as Bill does. So, All right, now the only thing left is to put this PTO shaft back on there. And I always turn the tractor off before I do anything with a PTO shaft. I have a friend that got bit by one one time. Luckily, he was okay and didn't lose any limbs. But it was enough to convince me. I just, I'm not in that big a hurry. I just turn them off. Okay, so let's fold this guard up for this. Just give me a little more room in here, I think. Okay, so it's sliding on there. And you slide it on until it locks, which is where it's at right now. Then just pull the shaft, this collar back. And then keep sliding it forward. Now it's held back. Now that that collar's held back, you slide it forward until it locks. I'll see if I can capture that. Okay, and it's locked on. Now the last thing I'll do again, since I've talked about it, this guard, it needs to be shoved down just to keep, if that keeper comes off, this arm can't come off if it hits this guard. So slide that down. And we are set to mow. All right. Okay, there you go. What do you think? Uh, I think it's an awfully good job. Uh, it doesn't seem to have too much play in it. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty much all I wanted. Yep. Uh, I bet it'll mow a little better with both arms hooked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, not only that, uh, that's, that's the bush hog. Right. That's that to get rid of all the small sticks and the stuff that I my regular mower wouldn't yeah kind of fought with well the big thing too is just remember uh this shield right here yeah. if you don't have anything hooked up with this keep this shield down because i think that would have kept 
this arm from being able to come off of that pin even without the clip in there yeah. right but that that was folded all the way up and so it eventually once it lost the pin was able to move and pop up oh my goodness <laughs> got bungee cords loose <laughs> uh yeah oh that's your cane holder isn't it yeah uh, that's what it is yep that's cool oh and i put this little keeper back in this side too uh so if it was out yeah yes it was out it was still there but it wasn't in the pen and i'm sure that was so easy you could adjust it quick yeah. but uh if that ever drops off that keeper will keep those parts from coming apart where we don't lose one of them or half one <laughs> i get i get used to where to go with that it makes a big swath yeah and uh but being able to line it up uh -huh. so that each time I make a round, it'd be uniform. Right. It should be running pretty much right between the, you know, the, the gap in yeah. those duels. Well, I see that, but I have to see where I Oh, from up front? Up. Yeah. Well, it looks like they're right at the edge of the grapple, probably. But it, it don't take me long. Uh, once you get on it, you, you'll get a feel for it. Yes. And once, once, once you get a feel for it, well... I can come within an inch or two every time. Yeah. Well, your place definitely looks nice. So, like I said, it's uh, <laughs> it's evidently doing a pretty good job. Well, I hope. <laughs> yeah, that's the goal, right? That's the goal. All right. Well, it's still. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's still pretty cold out here, so I'm gonna go park that up there at the barn, and I'm gonna take off. But. All righty. You should be set to go. All right. Thanks. Hey, no problem. All right, so that does it with our John Deere hitch re uh, repair. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, please. It helps us out a lot. And we definitely invite you to subscribe to see more. Have a great day and be safe.